<laughs> it is uh, coming up on 11-17. I want to say congratulations to this What's man that? right here. What, what, what do this. I do? They had a chili cook-off. Look at this. Oh, look at me. And he uh, won. Anthony Copeland won, what is it, the People's Choice for the Best People's Chili. People's Choice. But I get, didn't get the Chef's Choice. Okay. Because they ran out by the time the, uh, the judges got here. Right. It was so good. People were coming with bowls and treating it like it was lunchtime and okay. didn't have any for the, uh, for the judges. Wow. You're, you're the people's so champion. I got the people's Anthony. champion, uh, champ, but what not the cook? chefs. Now what's the cook? What's the what's the chili? What's what's what's, what's it's it's sweet, sort of sweet a sweet and sour heat uh, yeah. type of uh, it's something I've been making since I was 21, just trying to survive in college. Nice. So I just kind of been adding mm -hmm. more ingredients, more influences from other people did, in my family. Did they give you the million dollar <laughs> check that they usually give the winner every year? Did you get that? I'm a humble guy. No, uh, uh, they yes. tried to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a million dollar check. Huh? I didn't get that. Well, congrats okay. again. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. But hey, I mean, it's been too warm for really uh, for chili making uh, type of weather. But this weekend is going to be the weekend of transition. And really, it's going to be happening as we head beyond lunchtime for tomorrow with our next cold front slide again, bringing a return of winter like conditions across Northeast Ohio. But with that, we're tracking some showers, and we also had the latest when it comes to that snow threat. We'll get right to that, but right now we're looking at uh, just a vast amount of warm temperatures all throughout the southeast and portions of the Midwest. But out beyond that, you can just tell what a cold front is located already bisecting locations in Michigan and Indiana. So it's right on our doorsteps, and that's going to be slowly heading in our direction, and it's Area low pressure is already gathering some moisture along this front. That's going to be marching in our direction as well, giving us a chance of rain for tomorrow. But here's how your Saturday and pretty much your weekend will play out. That chance of rain will be here throughout the morning, rain to the early afternoon. Then as cold air begins to slide in, it's going to set the stage for another area of developing uh, low pressure down to the south. This is how Sunday uh, evening will play out. We're going to be tracking a slug of moisture down to the south, and right now, now we've been tracking this particular outcome when it comes to our snow potential Monday night into early Tuesday, but current projections is currently trending down to the south of much of Northeast Ohio, and it's going to take more of a track off to the east throughout the mid Atlantic states and maybe we could be impacted with a couple of clipper systems throughout uh, next week. Now that same model data is keeping much of the heavier snowfall accumulations south of the area, but locations south of 76 could be clipped with some light amount of accumulations and our GFS model is the most aggressive keeping the heavier band of snow uh, just to the south of the uh, metro area, but a lot to really just play out here as we go throughout the next few days. Falling temperatures for tomorrow and then that small chance of rain really just slide again as we get closer to uh, tomorrow morning. Cold front slides in. Some of this rain could be heavy, but we're all dry by the time we approach tomorrow afternoon with temperatures falling from the lower 50s all the way to the lower 30s by the time we're waking up for Sunday morning. We still include a small chance of snow Monday and Tuesday. Valentine's Day is looking cold with partly cloudy skies. 